gotta pack. I gotta go. I gotta. I gotta put stuff in here. We got to go. Where are we going? Hmm. Who the hell showed up in my house? What is going on here? Jer, what are you doing at my house? Uh, I was in the neighborhood. And, what? Uh, I just, you know, ran through the neighborhood. Thought I'd swing by. Hey, you want to go on an adventure? Where are we going? I don't know. I'm thinking somewhere south. Warmer mm -hmm. weather. Yes, warmer weather would be nice. Yeah, let's do that. So let's go to Florida. What is going on, Nissan Nation? It's your buddy Dave of the Nissan Nation podcast. And today, oh man, we've got a good one. We've got we got some beastly trucks sitting here and uh, we are in sunny Florida or I guess it's supposed to be sunny I don't know man uh, but we are gonna take uh, some trucks from Shadow Wolf out uh, if you don't know Shadow Wolf they're uh, they're doing uh, conversions of uh, Nissan Frontiers and Xterras and whatever else you want to convert they're converting them to solid axles and they've got all kinds of cool new aftermarket parts they're about to launch and it's a newer company I'm super excited to uh, kind of get to hang with these guys and see what they're all about but you can't see it back there, but there's a special Frontier back there that, that I'm just itching to drive, man. My buddy JR, we came down here to pick this thing up, and I think you're going to like it. So let's go get on the trails. We got a truck coming. Huh? Here, JR, you just picked up your truck. Nesty, I did. Nesty, con <laughs> Nesty converted this thing to a solid axle, dude. What made you do, What made you do this? Um, my wife wanted me to. <laughs> wow, that's an excuse you don't hear a lot. <laughs> no, no, was it you took the truck? It's been the plan all along, you yeah. know. Like when I first started uh, getting into modding this thing, I decided that um, at some point I wanted a solid axle underneath this. Thing. Right, and when I first met you, you were on thirty five or thirty threes, and then you bumped it up, and you yeah. kept the su the same gearing and everything. And yeah, I, d I went from spacer lift and thirty threes to spacer lift and a body lift in 33s and then after what a year or two titan swapped it yeah and did the titan swap for two to three years and then did some trimming and added the 35s right uh, so but but now you're on 37s these are dana 60s under this thing yep. and it's dana like 60 under the front and a ford sterling 10 and a half rear but that's nuts, man. And of course, Shadow Wolf came up with this design, the way they're doing it. It's cool that they're using, much like the old Sasses for Xterras and Frontiers, where they're finding axles that seem to work perfect for these vehicles. Yeah, exactly. There was no chopping or anything on these axles, right? They're just No, factory these lane. axles were um, pretty much with his kit, they just bolted right up. Uh, pretty much anyone can put one of these on with minimal fabrication skills. Right. Uh, very, very little welding, and that's just a quick pop on the front axle one on the back right uh, so you could take it anywhere and just be like hey hit this one spot right here for me and you can drive it there to get right. it done and of course uh, you brought this to shadow wolf and but they're going to start selling this kit which is really really cool yes um now those of you that think oh i'm just going to sell it axle my my truck there's a price involved in this and it was a pretty hefty price right i, I mean the I'm, kit itself is not the expensive part it's okay. all of the things that you want to add on on top of that so right because you went lockers wheels and, and tires new gears, uh, lockers, that's the stuff that starts adding up. And of course, you know, you choose what you want, your front suspension set up to be like, whether you want coils, air shocks, or a combo with the ROIs like I did. Yeah, yeah, because what you've done is, is definitely, a, it's, it's the best of both worlds, really. Yeah, exactly. You get the adjustability of air shocks with even more adjustability uh, and the control and ride comfort of a coilover. Right. Let's go get this thing on the trail and see if we can get it muddy here in Let's Florida. Do it. So driving a a, jet, a SAS Gen 2, it's pretty nice, guys. I'm not gonna lie. The power difference from a Gen 1 to a Gen 2 is like incredible. It's well worth it just for that. Uh, this is Dana 60s on this thing, so you know a little beefier on the ground. Thank you to JR for letting me drive this thing. 
they went to a 456 gear, I believe is what they said, and it's definitely, you can definitely tell it's punchy now. The way they have the, the, the gearing is, to me, it's perfect. Uh, you take a little bit getting used to it. I was telling JR, you may want to take this and have it tuned because you can adjust that throttle response a little bit. But ultimately, man, this is this is pretty sweet. You're about to go in production with this design, which is really cool. And um, the kit, I don't want to price the kit just yet, but I have an idea of it. And and if you're a second gen owner, it's why dump a shit ton of money into uh, into Titan swapping and everything. If you know your truck's going to be a dedicated rotor, just go ahead and uh, and do it right. Let's go take this thing up a rock challenge and uh, have some fun. Um, you're gonna have to go to Nissan Nation Podcast, uh, our uh, YouTube channel, and you're gonna wanna see this video this week because it's gonna be fun. And I wanna show you so bad, I wanna show you guys. What's up, Jeff? What's up, Ronald? You going, you going. Uh, passenger, passenger. Oh. You're a little driver, little driver. But, you're gonna to wanna to go to the other side. Oh, we just blew a tire! Oh, we blew a tire! You've got the wheel. Hey, I got that on live, guys. I got that live. You guys can hear that, but I can't show it to you. Uh, if you go this Woo. way, you can get out. Oh, I smell that fresh tire. It was just a bead, but turns out. Oh, got him a hole. All right, so far we've rock climbed with this thing. We've done a little bit of mudding with this thing. It's time for me to get back in the wheel and, uh, Try not to be denied by a rock garden again. I just don't want to tear up his truck, but this thing is super capable enough. You guys, you're going to want to check out Shadow Wolf. I'm telling you. JR, how comfortable are you with somebody else driving your vehicle? Because I don't know that anybody's ever really drove your vehicle. I mean, you're Stacy, your wife has, but. <laughs> oh, it's Gerald. Wake up. Huh? What? Rock crawl. <laughs> I know if it's really, really crawled your vehicle, have they? Um, other than Brady last weekend? Yeah. No. But you weren't here for that. You didn't get to see. You're right. I didn't get to see. You didn't get Probably to a good that. thing. Yeah. Oh, oh um, moving that boulder. Oh, that's not hanging up on ah. oh. Sorry, a, guys. Took a bit different line than the Sorry. first time. Well, the, I think the rock moved or something. Oh, yeah, it definitely moved. All right. Now let's get into Nestor's rig and um, see how fun this thing is going to be. Hopefully, guys, if you guys uh, are interested in what these SAS trucks can do, go to uh, shadowwolfmfg.com and uh, check out their uh, website. It's going to tease you right now. But if you're interested in a month or so, they're going to have some prices and product up. And the Gen 2, man, it, it, it really does drive like a stock truck now like and that's weird to say but just you don't get a lot of body roll a lot of like tippiness it just it feels like a factory truck out here running around except you're on 37s and you got 456 gears but i'm glad that uh i'm glad that shadow wolf invited us down to come check these vehicles out because they're they're very awesome and i've had a blast down here um this little park is awesome once again 
it's just big enough that you get a good half a day, full day. You can get Here we have it, out. boys. We uh, we came, we saw, we conquered. We're putting them up for the day. Um, me and Jared's got to get back to Tennessee. I think we're gonna have some cervezas and, and have a good time. But uh, so let me know what you think in the comments below. Uh, these kids are badass. I'm not gonna lie. I think um, I think uh, Nestor and his company has done an amazing job with these. And uh, they're fun to wheel. It's fun to wheel in Florida. I've never wheeled in, in terrain like this, so that was that was a blast. So guys, Shadow Wolf Manufacturing, Nestor, yep. JR, are you happy with this purchase? Absolutely. Would you do it again? Absolutely. Anything you changed just initially? There doesn't have to be anything. I, I mean, you be honest, I'm right here. <laughs> uh, I would I would go high steer from the beginning. Yeah. Um, because you know, if you use the stock axles like I did, it's, or like it's I did. not. Uh, so I might at some point do that, but that was my call. It yeah. wasn't wasn't uh, his his decision. You like the, the the gearing and everything was good for oh you. Oh my god, dude, it's so it's punchy. It is so. <laughs> I can't wait to get this out on the street at home because I'm going to tear those damn get, streets out. Yeah, you could. I think you could burn the tires up in this thing now. Yeah, it's, it's crazy. Yeah, you really will. I mean, it's got yeah. a lot of torque now. Yeah. yeah, I was playing with it last night. That's for sure. But yeah, absolutely happy. Love it. It's the shit. Nice. Uh, Nestor, this is kind of like your final prototype, man, before you really yeah, go. Yeah, um, final revisions are being done right now, and they are uh, mm -hmm. just finalizing everything so we can get ready to hit the market here in a couple months. So, so. you're thinking July? Our, our target is July, early July. Um, latest will be late July. Yeah. Um, we're just all obviously finalizing everything for, you, for everything. So when sure. pre-orders come in, we, we start getting them nice and processed smoothly. Um, that's and kind of what we're setting up next. And this month. isn't going to be like a the company from California that tried to do solid axles, where like they wait seven years. No, to get a product, we, right? we try. We, we're going to try our best to try to you know keep up with the man and, and everything like how everybody wants. Uh, our, our we're trying to keep our lead time short. It, everything is built to order, so as soon as you order it, that's when we'll build it. Um, we're going to do our best to try to meet everybody's demands. Um, we'll see what happens as things come along. Nice. Well, there you have it, guys. Check out ShadowWolfMFG.com. Yep, uh, I guess they can email you that way, too, right? They have yeah, any questions? Uh, uh, right now, you can email at ShadowWolfProducts at Outlook.com. Okay. Um, as we get the website ready, you can go email through the website and right. then, um, or through our Facebook page or Instagram. You can definitely contact us through okay. there. That's right, guys. Go all the socials. Hit them up. Tell them the NMP sent you over there. And, guys, thank you for inviting me out for this. This has been a blast. Yeah, so, absolutely, man. So, from all things Nissan here in Florida, I want to say Middle Tennessee, but from Florida to wherever you're watching us around the globe, this has been your Nissan Nation podcast. And what are we, JR? Uh, we're out of here. Peace, everybody. Love y'all.